So first stop, click and collect. Right, so that's the shopping done. Packed the fridge, what well, seems like six weeks, I think we've only got what, five days? Five days. So we're off to Coidy Thluing. I hope I've said that right. And uh, it's in Wales. And when did the Welsh sites open? I think it was the 11th or 13th. Yeah. I'm not quite and, sure. And it's, op it's a club site, it's a caravan motor club site and it's got no facilities open so um, we'll be using our facilities just like we've been doing for the last uh, week or so so no difference there really yeah i want to take the southerly route because it's a bit more scenic yeah you said driving onto the m53 <laughs> Well, it was easy getting that click and collect though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's... Be in either of the two right lanes. I mean, click and collect works really well if you can park. Yeah, which, I mean, well, that was quite easy, wasn't it? Two little bays together. And the trouble we've had with Tesco is it's uh, they've got like a, a roof, haven't they? Yeah. And the van's too tall for the roof, so okay no, the to roof's go. too low for the van. They're really too low for the van. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Two thirty-eight on the left to eight four eight three. Then enter the roundabout.
Night Pops. We've just stopped for a little lunch break, haven't we? Or probably lunch break. <laughs> she's going to do a bit of face rubbing. Yeah, so we're just um, not far from Barla, are we? Decided we we're going to need to stop. And we're going to have some lunch ourselves. Well, we're going to have some sandwiches that we bought in Sainsbury's, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Just trying to find them. Yeah. This fridge is a bit packed. Yes. <laughs> five days, haven't we? Yeah, it's five days worth of food here. At least. At least. I think they're in there somewhere. Are they? Right. I think they're at the back there. There they are. I knew I'd put them in there somewhere. That's it, so... Oh, we've got some pucker pies. Yeah, I like them. Yeah. Some bean slices. Good cuts. Some chips for tonight. With some fish. Yeah. Very good. But tomatoes. I right? want tomatoes, yeah. And the lettuce. I'll fit the lettuce right now. car park isn't there on the left back there yeah, yeah very good car park it is too Alliance. Yeah. 592 was it 592 yeah I don't 
anything I fancy doing. No, okay. Well, then I'll, I'll cancel the one <laughs> I thought I had then, shall I? <laughs> I was going to get a tandem one. <laughs> Lovely. Favourite pictures taken. Yeah. There used to be some pictures. Oh yeah. There used to be pictures at the top there, didn't there? Yeah. No, I think we'd go down that bottom area. Went before. It's quite nice. You don't want to go up the top there? No. Mm. totally on your own down here at the moment. No view there. Or you could go in the corner. You want to go in the corner then? Well, we've arrived. It's a bit misty isn't it? But normally you get a view over there of the mountains. Just about seeing sort of dark shape. What, do you know what number we're on? Oh no, I suppose I ought to check really, shouldn't I? Hmm. Uh, 67. I'm not very straight here. No, I might have to straighten out a bit. I'll straighten out before I do anything else. Do anything else. Oh. Yeah, reception's just up here. Toilet block would be up there, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's up, up those on, steps. Up on the hill. Yeah. And that's all closed off. Yeah, I can't I think they opened up. I'll have to check the date. Hmm? The toilet blocks and things. Yeah. I can't remember what date they opened. Okay. 
was asking when the toilet blocks were opening in there and they said yeah. they won't be opening all uh, for the rest of the season they've got problems with the boiler they've got rust in the boiler oh so the toilet blocks won't be opening at all here in the uh, uh, rest of the season until they get the boiler fixed oh. but other sites will be opening on the 25th i mean well, i was going to say 24th you know yeah, 25th 25th is it yeah other, other other sites toilet blocks i should say <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, right. yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we're just in this nice little cul-de-sac, I suppose. Yeah, well we were, well we were in that little bailey when we were the last on it. No, because we had the car, didn't we? So it can't have been. No, it was with the car. Yeah. Yeah. So that's alright then, Pops. Got to get the uh, driveway awning up, haven't we? Poppy will help. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go that side then. Right. That's the motor home. Waste coins, is it? Oh yeah, yeah. It's a bit less sophisticated than the... <laughs> More at Chester, <laughs> More at Chester, yeah. A little bit smaller. Don't have too far to go to empty the toilet. No. New people have asked how you find out if you're level. We've got this little bubble thing here. Sorry. Just let Poppy through. Well, I'm just um, trying to explain to people how we get level, oh, Poppy. Poppy wants to get on her perch. Yeah, so looking at it from this end, facing forward, um, probably could do with being a bit higher at the front and possibly uh, a little bit more on the right hand side. But to be honest, I'm not going to bother. <laughs> you can you can sort of feel the van slightly over to that. Uh, front left looking forward but uh, no we're not going to bother it's a lot of faffing about we go out isn't it if yeah. we're going to do that if we were staying and we brought the car yeah. then it might be worth it well wasn't one sorted out <laughs> he's alright you? now you're alright in there you're happy now don't mind if we put the awning up then dear put the drive away up okay So yeah. I just want just to get leave that. It like... <laughs> That's part of your figure of eight thing, isn't it? So, yeah. yeah. So that goes. Yeah. Bring it in. So that goes on that little channel there, and then you wind the awning back. I managed to forget to bring my steps, so I've only got that little step. So there's no way I can get up to it. No. So. You That's... know that double step's probably not on the list. No, well, to be fair, I, I just got it, grabbed all the awning stuff and I forgot about that. We'd been using it for other things. Yeah, yeah. And that's, of course, the problem is you, you, you double purpose something and you forget it. Yeah. Yeah, want to say something? What have we done then? You know what we've done. <laughs> just pegged out the ground sheet, haven't we? I've videoed this. Yeah. People have said to me, why don't you get an electric pump? And what do you say? <laughs> well, they say, well, I tell you, it's pretty easy to pump up. So let's have a count, Emily. Keep it straight. Get it on inflate. See how many pumps it takes. Two, three, four, five. That's about it. It's about 21. Yeah. It wasn't very long, was it? It's not very long, and it's quite easy to do as well. Yeah. As long as you don't do this bit wrong. Yeah, you don't have to do it again. Take this off, not to let all the pressure out. Brilliant. It's about 20. Solid. It's a little bit tricky to get this cap on there. It's caught up in the thing, but I've got to put this little seal on. That's it. Where are 
flying. So what you've got is these poles, and they're called figure of eight because they're like a figure of eight. Yeah. That's what you call them, really. No. And what they do is they slide on there, up there. Like that. And that's when you discover you can't reach them. And you wish you brought your step. <laughs> Come on. It's a lot easier when you've got a flaming step with you. Yeah. That's it. Oh. I've got the corners pegged out. I'm going to leave Danny here. Just, I'll just, just hold it hold, Yeah, just that's hold it. Weeks, yeah. yeah. Okay. And that sort of gives it most of its shape. Now I'm going to peg out the corners here and over there. Got my pegs out because most of them are bent now. <laughs> yeah so that's most of it done. Once you've got the, the corners pegged out and stretched out then you, you're pretty much done. Just putting the carpet in and putting the storm uh, guys out. These just for a bit of extra security. Get pestered by midges. And that one. And Jenny can put the carpet in. I could, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's a little um, steel pole for tension, really, I suppose. It goes in a little slot up there. And it slides over here. Another slot in the corner. You just pull it out and lock it with that thing. There's a little canopy um, shelf, what do you call it, canopy, lid type thing. It's got these things here. You can hear me above the skateboard. And that goes, it goes in there. that in and it this clips one clips in there there's another one over here it goes in there like that yeah so it gives you a little bit of a hood there okay. oh. I think we're just about done we've got to tidy up put carpet down I'll probably put some pegs in there as well. Not easy doing this one-handed. There we go. Wonderful. There we go. And then you can unzip the back. Yeah. That folds away into a pocket in there and then you've got access into the door now before anyone says you're always going to have a gap between this bit here and there the reason is that the awning sticks out now, i don't think there's anything you can do about that other than try and get as close as possible i will tighten it up a little bit which helps 
but it's only really keep the rain off your head when you get into the awning yeah and you can use these as doors so you can't do a good a zip there so you can open this bit so if you're not using the drive away part of it you just go out there or indeed out there so I tend to do it at night isn't it because we zip this up we we'll zip the whole thing up and leave it Move it like a little tent really yeah well the beauty of it and I, I think we've said this in previous videos is that you can zip the back up and you sit in this and it's like a proper little tent yeah yeah and it's it fully fully secure <laughs> and i've got a request to come in there <laughs> so this whole back bit zips along here and then you can roll it up Old puppy, just a minute. Just fold it up. Let it go in that pocket there. Right, wonderful. Okay. Right. All right, you better let Poppy out and get the chairs. So you can tighten it up with these things here. Just pull them a bit tighter. Pops, got your chairs out. Yeah, the other thing about this is because you can unzip the window here. It's got, it's got like a curtain. Behind that, it's got like a mesh. So that seals it. So that means you can have that off. You can have the, where is it? Lost it. And the mesh, just the mesh on. Or you can have the cover on and the mesh. We can have it wide open, so it's pretty good. Just got that bit wide open there, so I'm gonna sit down, Pops, and Pops is gonna get me a beer, aren't you? Perhaps not. <laughs> and you can tie back the curtains, they've got like a less gated tie back thing there, and on that side as well. Hey, 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 Poppy, you're not having the cake. Then get down. Get you a treat in a minute. Ah! Uh, come on, sit. Jump. Yeah, so we booked him for five nights. That's £16, five pence discount. That's a VAT change. And the total is £112.45. So, uh, about £22, isn't it? Yeah, so that works out at £22.49 a night. Which is not bad, is it? No. It's all the usual, well, I say the usual, the welcome back blurb, the same as we've got at Burrs and Chester. There's a little bit about what's out and about. And Port Marion, Welsh Island Railway, Festiniog Railway. I think the Welsh Island and the Festiniog are running, but they you have to book a whole carriage. I think it's fifty pounds for each carriage. You pay fifty pound, and then yeah. you have to, that's for two people, I think. Yeah. And then you have to, if you've got more people, you have to pay for them. And then there's the slate mines. Yeah. And the zip wall. I think that's I closed. Thought I thought it was saying, oh, that's closed, I think isn't it? That's still closed. Yeah. There's some good walking routes around the oh, that that lake. That's a map of the site. Got some do's and don'ts. The nearest shop is a premier shop at Trosfinith. That place is six miles away. Fourth Maddock is ten miles away. And there's a bus that runs from the village to Bangor via Porth Maddock, uh, via Porth Maddock and Aberystwyth via Dog FU. And what they've got in the Coily Thin shop. Various ice creams, eggs, milk, crisps and sweets. Maps for the area. Chemicals, gas. 
and stick it all in a little envelope. As for phone signal, I've just checked on the Vodafone router and that's a good strong 4G signal. And on EE... It's a 4G 2 bar. Two bar, yeah. So not seems, too bad. It seems quite fast. Seems good. Yep. It took us about an hour and... I think it's about an hour and 20 minutes to get the awning and everything pegged up and chairs up and beer on and everything. Um, but uh, all set up now. So if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. Hit the notifications icon and you'll get updates when we release another video. Or indeed, when Poppy does something else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs>